So if I am not aware of this, then we may feel irritated inside. So this is one part. Second part is if it is happening, then what to do? Then we have to participate in larger order. We have to work for society. We have to make the right program for people. So this knowing is important. If I don't know this uh, self and body, then we feel trouble inside. So for example, this morning session is going on. And many participants are attending this session for many years. But each one of us is aware of innate nature and it may not happen because it is a state of their sanskar. Some people explore very rapidly. Some people may take time. Some people will be in a state of transition. Sometimes they feel happy, sometimes they are not happy. All thing, these things will happen. So we should know about this, that people's behavior depend on their consciousness and the state of their consciousness depend on their awareness. If they are not aware of this innate nature, their behavior you know, will be random, indefinite. So many people are living with assumption. That's why their behavior is indefinite. So what can I do? I can help them to move from assumptions to knowing. For them also, for myself also. So this we have to see, Bhaiya. Is it okay, Bhaiya, or not? Yes. Yes. Yes, so you can assume it that everyone should be disciplined, but other person will are not working with your assumption. They are working with their assumption. And they have their, their own assumptions. They are working uh, on their assumption. You are working with your assumption. So this is the problem. No, you can think, in fact, you can try to know you know that they are governed with their assumption and their behavior uh, will remain random till they ex till they know about themselves, till they know about the consciousness, till they know about the innate nature. And till then they are bound to behave like this. Right, Bia? Uh, self, body, and potential of self. You know? So they have potential to correct themselves, but they are not aware of their potential. They are not aware of their innate nature. But they can do it. That is annoying. That you know. Yes. Right. So you don't know answer of why. So you have assumed something. Once you know this answer of why, then you will be knowing the reality. Recognizing and fulfilling, for example, in your case, you, know, you have your own assumption that people should be disciplined. And now you recognize with your assumption. So you are looking discipline in them, uh, in, 
uh, those people right so you are recognizing him as a indisciplined and whenever you interact with them you will interact with feeling of opposition this is fulfillment right so once i know you know once i know then i will recognize him on the basis of knowing that he is also coexistence of self and body they have also their innate nature since they are not aware of their innate nature that's why they are doing it influence of his own sanskar so once i know it you know i recognize him as a human being they are also human being with potential to know everything now i will fulfill a uh, feeling of relationship with him whenever i will interact with him i will interact with feeling of respect now this will be my fulfillment i will think of the feeling of relationship this will be fulfillment right we Uh, last line we repeat last line in that situation no 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 if you are recognizing relationship with other people and fulfilling accordingly relationship will sustain relationship uh, die when you as you you have assumed something else and they are working on their assumption and both of you are not shifting towards knowing then relationship will die yes so with knowing my relationship will sustain irrespective of their behavior with assumption my relationship may die because i am stick on my assumption yes they okay be right be okay so let me uh, take next slide then i will come back to baljit ji for his sharing okay so we uh, were talking about this transaction between the self and the body so if we see transaction you know so we can see no material transaction is taking place between me and the body right so i instruct body and this instruction is being placed in me so i made some decision an instruct body and whenever i decide i read sensation from the body right similarly if you see the decision part for every transaction i take decision whenever i need to instruct the body i instruct the body when i whenever i decide to read sensation from the body i read sensation from the body so decision is taking place in me body is not taking any decision you know only activities are taking place in the body so this information i send to the body i read to from the body this is happening between me and the body so this we have to explore so if we see i am and i exist and body also exists i want to live and body is used as an instrument right so body is my instrument i want to live with continuous happiness and this continuity of happiness to protect my body to nurture my body right utilization of my body physical facilities required 
so this aspiration of continuous happiness in me and because body is my instrument it is useful you know to get proposal from outside to share my proposal to others in that sense body is required so body is required so that's why it is you know, my responsibility to nurture protect right utilization of the body so this physical material is required for the body and to live with continuous happiness i have to understand harmony at all levels of being from self to entire existence and and this is my program of action for continuous happiness and if you see this body in this program protection is required protection is required right utilization is required that is a part of program of my life so in short we can see i am seer i am doer i am enjoyer and i use the body as an instrument for fulfillment of my program so this we have to explore am i seer or not am i doer or not am i enjoyer or not and if i am seer i am doer i am enjoyer what the purpose of my body so body i use as an instrument to fulfill my program so suppose i want to and you know, be continuously happy for that right proposals are required right path is required so with the help of body i am able to take this proposal from this morning session so role of body is to convey these proposals to you now if i explore it correctly i can ensure my happiness so body role is very definite right? ultimately it is me who is trying to live with continuous happiness right so let's take reflection on these slides then gradually we will move towards next slide okay so we have baljit ji with us good morning gopal bhaiya namaste bhaiya namaste ji am i uh, audible clearly yes bhaiya yes uh, sir just now you were responding to dr rama gupta ji that she is having a feeling of opposition whenever she imagines about the person from whom she is troubled one way or the other way now the suggestion is that unless she has the feeling of a relationship and a sense of coexistence she cannot be uh, in comfort so if she cannot get rid of opposition and she cannot develop the sense of uh, relationship then what is the situation can she be neutral of both opposition and relationship if so then what will be the situation in which she will be at ease sometimes these things do occur with us uh, maybe within the family and maybe at the place of working that's why i am trying to correlate this question please sir yes bhaiya so the yes. crux of this uh, uh, question is if my relationships are based on assumption you know then it will be with full of complaints if my relationship is based on knowing then this relationship will be complaint free this is the crux so whenever we get married we assume many things about the others right i will get this kind of personality my husband would be loving my wife would be caring etc etc so we assume many things about the others and when other people is not according to my assumption then i start complaining i feel trouble in me so what is the way to know the human being i am coexistence of self and body the other is also coexistence of self and body 
I need continuity of happiness for myself. The other self also needs continuity of happiness. My happiness can be ensured with right understanding and right feeling. Others' happiness can also be ensured with right understanding and right happy uh, feeling. So what to do? We have to work on right understanding from beginning, right feeling from beginning. For that, I should be aware of my innate nature. So once I am aware of my innate nature, once I know how to ensure this right understanding, right feeling in me, then I can work with others from very beginning. But generally, we start with expectation of these feelings. Other person will trust me, other person will care me, you know, love me, etc. We don't start with feeling of trust, respect, affection, love. We expect these feelings because I don't know about myself. So once I am aware of my innate nature, I can ensure these feelings within me. Now I will start with feeling of trust. I will start with feeling of respect. Right. So this is the right path. But what is happening today? We start with assumption that the coming person will respect me. Coming person will trust me. He will love me, etc., etc. And when he once he is not able to do according to your expectation, then complaints start. So this is the crux of the whole conversation. Is it okay, Bia? Uh, yes, sir. Thank you very much. It's very right. Uh, uh, you see input from your side. Thank you very much. Okay, Bia. Thank you, Bia. Thank you, sir. Okay. So we are talking about this human being, self and body. Now we have to explore that body is my instrument. Am I able to see it? I use this instrument as per my need. Am I able to see it? I am see a doer and enjoyer. Am I able to see it? And all these proposals we have to explore within me. So the more exploration, the more I explore, more I will be clear about myself. And then more precisely decision I can take outside for others and for rest of nature. Right. So we have one more hand raised. Rajeshwar Raoji with us. Uh, namaste, Bhaiya. Namaste, Bhaiya. Uh, so what I could understand that uh, between self and body, there is no what you call uh, material transformation yeah. only information transformation is there right so uh, and always uh, i feel that uh, uh, self uh, will have a uh, what you call right thinking in many cases and uh, it gives instructions to body so Certain times, uh, I think uh, what I feel, uh, or you should uh, please uh, correct me, the body has to follow the instructions of self. For mm -hmm. example, a person has some diabetes, some disorder, physical disorder, a sort of health problem. The self mm -hmm. says that you go for walking, do some exercise to overcome the it, that is a, a it is a right direction to the body for the uh, certain times the body refuses to respond to it properly like um, say uh, uh, like uh, uh, it it may look for a physical comfort say go uh, wake up at five o'clock go for walking that will be good for your health the the self says but the body doesn't respond, respond because uh, it enjoys the physical facility, sleeping. So what I want to say here is that um, uh, the self should have control over the body. Am I correct? 
You speak, bhai. I will, I will comment it. Uh, uh, so, self uh, uh, should have a control over the body uh, for a uh, very good uh, harmony within ourselves, with our uh, health issues or anything. Okay, bhai. Yes, bhai. Yes, bhai. Okay, bhai. So, Bhaiya, we have to ask ourselves, body is enjoying this physical facility, this rest, or I am enjoying this physical facility. First, we should be clear about this. Right. Second mm -hmm. thing is, mm -hmm. I am instructing my body. You know, and if my body is not healthy, then it is not able to receive my instruction. That's why it is not waking up or walking. Yes. So one part is, I am clear about myself that I am not body. I am giving instruction to the body. Now another part is, if body is healthy, is able to receive my information, then it follows. If it is not healthy, then it will not be able to follow. Suppose you have done a night journey, whole night. And your body mm -hmm. is now tired very much. And now mm -hmm. again you want to wake up at 4 a.m. So you are instructing your body. But because your body is with some lim limitation, it is a material ultimately. Yes. And beyond this limitation, it doesn't work. That's why there yes, is a yes. need to take, uh, need to give rest to the body. So once you give rest to the body, it re-energized and it is start actively working again. Right. So instruction yeah. I am giving, this is okay. My body follows it, this is okay. My body follows it if it is healthy. That's why it is my responsibility to nurture, protect, right, utilization my body. And so that whenever I instruct it, it follows. That's why there is a ne need of health in the body. Mm -hmm. Right, Pia? Okay, but uh, what what we call that as a uh, term laziness? So laziness is in the self or in the body? In the body. That we have to explore. Suppose you are feeling laziness, right? And you get mm. information, the next moment you will get 1 crore rupees if you come down from this fifth floor. Will you feel mm. laziness or will you jump from the bed and go to take this mm -hmm. one crore rupees? <laughs> right. So laziness means I don't have purpose of my life this time. I am not able to see yes, my yes. participation. So that's why I am lying yeah. on the bed. <laughs> right. Okay, Bhaiya. So okay. nice, Bhaiya. Nice Bye. observation. Thank nice sharing. Yes. So Thank you. Thank you, Bhaiya. So we have uh, one uh, hand, Lech Pratap ji. So Lech ji, uh, now it's time up. So you can post your question on chat box. We can continue this with this question, with your question. So now I request uh, Sunil Bhaiya to start in this session. Yes, Namaste Bhaiya. Yeah.